All right, guys, so while there's a ton of games out right now, I really want to talk about my time with Black Myth Wukong because I actually just finished it, so let's get into it. First of all, you can't start this off without talking about how visually impressive this game is. I mean, look at these visuals. The environment looks crazy. Uh, even just watching the way uh, the Destin one, who is who you play as, kind of moves through the water and the sand environments and the snow environments is actually really crazy, and they really take Unreal Engine 5 here uh, and they, they use it for what it needs to be doing. I mean, this is incredible. Game Science really knows how to make this game run well. I was actually pleasantly surprised as somebody who played it on PlayStation 5. I heard a lot about the game crashing and stuff like that for people who were playing it prior. Uh, but I didn't have any problems. It, it played flawlessly for me. It was great. The gameplay is good. I, I'm not like super impressed by the combat. I wouldn't say it is as bad as some people are saying it is. It definitely, you know, it's really hard. A lot of there's like this big debate as to whether this game is a Souls-like or just an action RPG, but it kind of feels like a Souls-like. It's hard. Like you're not just gonna come in and body these bosses unless you're some prodigy game player. I don't know, <laughs> but I mean, there were some bosses I straight up got stuck on. There's one boss you fight and you get stuck on, and you have to like go get an item that makes it a lot easier. It's a whole thing. I won't spoil it, but. Outside of that, the combat was still fun and definitely satisfying. It never felt unfair. It, you know, most Souls games, I won't lie, I, I get stuck on a boss and then I find myself like Googling how to beat it and then trying to find like a way to summon other players to do it or whatever. You know, Elden Ring is a perfect example, but with this one, it really felt like if I took my time and I actually paid attention to the patterns of the boss's attacks, I could actually you know, have a chance at beating it. So that was awesome. Um, the only issue I had with the combat was like dodging fell off. I don't know something about it just felt like I could never time it right. It, I don't know. It, it, there would be moments where I would definitely be hitting that button and somehow I would still get hit. I don't know. Let me know if that happened to you guys down below, but I like the abilities you get. You know, they're nothing too fancy. I, my favorite one was the immobilization ability. I don't know. It's just, I like pausing the bosses and just getting a little whoop on them and then, you know, crashing out on it. It was really dope. Uh, yeah, speaking of bosses, a lot of the bosses in the game were really impressive. I mean, I know there was a little bit of controversy about this game being a boss rush, and I kind of see that, but also the environments, they didn't feel like they were pointless either, you know? It was still fun to move around them, and then when you get to the bosses, it was like, okay, this is cool, this is badass. It's definitely important to note that there are quite a few bosses in this game. I mean, I got to a point where I was like, damn, am I getting close to the end here? Uh, <laughs> which I don't know you can say if that's a good thing or a bad thing I don't know but it was definitely like I just kept hitting those bosses and then I get stuck on one for like a day or two beat it move on to the next boss but I still found it fun either way uh, the music in the game was you know it was it's what you were gonna expect from it it wasn't anything that really like stimulated the eardrums or anything but it was like enjoyable to listen to while you were playing the game overall this game was pretty damn good I mean it just had the combat was good the, the animations look they did a really good job with the animations the visuals were damn near impressive uh unreal engine 5 man the game science is doing work with that engine seriously i can't wait to see what they got coming out next the bosses are cool if you're into anything like the souls like games this feels like it's kind of up that alley so yeah overall this game was a banger for me but let me know what you guys think down below did you enjoy it did you hate it let's talk about it peace